Hey guys, it's Jamie and I am back with a Sephora haul. Yay! Um, some of this stuff is from the friends and family. Uh, my friend on Instagram, Stephanie, she is the wonky brow. I will try to remember to link her below on Instagram. She works at Sephora and she's so sweet. Send me the code. Um, so I was able to get a discount then and I never showed my stuff. Um, and then I would shop the VIB sale and, uh, for Rouge members, the first day it started, I got bronchitis that day. That's what I remember. Um, I placed an order that morning. Wait, was that the day? I don't know. Anyway, I placed an order that morning, got the package pretty quickly. Placed an order that night. It took like six days. I don't know. It was crazy long. And then I placed one last order the last day of the sale or the day before the last day and that came fairly quickly so wanted to show you guys what I got just in case you're out Christmas shopping I mean maybe you've already shopped Sephora with those sales and aren't planning to go back but I still like to share I'm not wearing lipstick today because I plan to maybe try on a couple I'm completely out of makeup wipes what kind of woman beauty lover youtuber am I that I don't have any makeup wipes so I have wet the makeup eraser and um, I've never taken lipstick off with this, but so if I stain it, I stain it, whatever. Um, anyway, so the little bit of goodies. Oh man, one lipstick's not in here. I'll talk about it. Um, I got this little uh, travel size of the, is it Way? Hair Care uh, Wave Spray that I really wanted to try. And I know this is something that I'd probably normally use in the summer, but um, want to try it, sorry. Gosh, that sounds like a huge car, and it's just the, um, it's just a little mailman. Anyway, want to try it. I've seen good reviews of it. Want to try it. Um, I picked up this little Sephora lavender foot mask. Anything with lavender and about my feet, I'm like, yes. So, it's cute. It's, I think it looks like little socks. You can put it on for about 20 minutes. We'll see. It's winter, so I feel like your feet need it. Especially when you live, like, where I live, and it is warm one day, cold one day, warm one day, cold one day. All right, so I picked up, I'm sorry I don't have this one with me. It's the Marc Jacobs Perfect. Um, it's just a nude color. Uh, I think it's downstairs, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I've worn it several times, I'll keep it. The color though, sometimes I feel like it looks nice on me and sometimes I feel like it looks more ma like a more mature color for me. So I'm not quite sure. Um, cute little packaging. But I might try to go grab that before we're done. The next one I got was a NARS Audacious Lipstick. I have one already. <clears throat> and I picked up this one in Barbara. Barbara. Um, and it's just a nice nude. I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with this. Um, just a really nice nude. Let me try to put it on. I will say that my lips are pretty dry right now, as are the rest of my, <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands, as of like my hands, my face, everything is dry. Um, yeah, that's like a really great nude color for my skin tone. I love it. Um, and I'm happy I have that one. This baby needs to get in my purse pretty much immediately. All right, the next color I got, I was on a lipstick kick. I think I still am. I was off lipsticks forever, uh, basically wearing chapstick or something light and thin like the um, Balms by It, uh, occasionally a lip, a lip gloss. I'm not sure why, I just kind of got in a makeup rut. I think I mentioned that a couple months ago, you know, when I was filming a lot. Um, got in a makeup rut and just wasn't being my best. Do you know what I mean? Like, just putting makeup on to get me out of the house, not really enjoying it. And I'm back putting my makeup on in this room, which if I showed you the mess in here, you guys would be ashamed of me. Um, I need to get this cleaned up and get back in here. But anyway, so I really like this nude color. It's really like a, it, it might be the most perfect nude for me. I don't know what it's looking like on camera in person. It's not, um, and it's just enough color. It's like my lip, but better maybe. It's not pinky, but it's not too nude. It's just that really nice, neutral, could wear with everything type of color. Okay, next one I got is a Bare Minerals Gin Nude Radiant Lipstick in Panko. Now, I have one of these, which is also in my purse. 
um, and it's beautiful and I love 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 the formula of these unfortunately not a lot of the colors that they have interest me um, this one I thought was a really good fall Wow she looks very similar a little bit different a little bit darker um, it's so funny when I tried these on in the store, which yes, they sanitized before they got on my lips. Um, <laughs> all that stuff in the news, I'm like, no, I sanitize everything. They sanitize it. I still wipe it off after they sanitize it and then I try it on. Um, it looked really like more orange in the store. I don't think the lighting in Sephora is very good. Anyway, this formula is really good for dry lips, I think. Oh my God, it just feels so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit darker. Brightens me up a little bit, and I love it. These are fabulous. The Gen Nude Lipsticks Radiance. If you guys haven't checked them out, you really, really, really should. I promise you, if you find a color you like, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, moving on. I'm going to erase these swatches before they get everywhere. Moving on to VIB. Trying not to be too frivolous, as I just showed you 17 lipsticks, but I wanted to get some skincare. Um, I'm really going through a lot of my skincare products, and I have some stuff that I'm really, really enjoying. Um, but I wanted to try this. This is the Drunk the drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant, and it is their Come See About Me kit. Um, I've heard rave reviews of this brand. Never tried so much as a sample, and girl went out and got one of these little kits. Um... And it's got a Bee Hydra Intensive Gel. Sorry, there's a hair and it's... Oh, I got it. Still attached. Um, a Jelly Cleanser. A Sheer Physical Daily Disp Defense with SPF 30. It has zinc oxide in it, which is really good. And then the C Firma Day Serum. I haven't actually heard anyone on YouTube that I've watched that use this, uh, use this brand say anything bad. So hopefully it's a good brand. She's a little pricey. So um, I'm hoping the 20% off, I love it. And I know there's another 20% off in April that you might have to stock up on, but I don't know. I was excited to try a different brand and I'm all about the vitamin C. I feel like that's super important. I picked up some more of these. My fingers hurt. Um, I'll tell you that, about that later. Eve Lom, the muslin cleansing cloths. I've gone through a pack of these, used them to death and they are looking it and need to be replaced. Oh, I have a gift in here for my mom, <clears throat> which I don't think it matters because she's not going to watch this by the time it goes up. It's a Dior, Rouge Dior 976. The color is Daisy Plum. I am going to, I'm not going to swatch it obviously because it's a gift, but Dior lipsticks are very pretty. I just want to show you the color. Can you guys see that? And it is beautiful on. This is like a great color for my mom and honestly... I would really like this color too. I don't know why I didn't get myself one. Anyway, um, I give it to her every year because she, when she finds a lipstick she likes, she goes hard at it and she really uses her stuff up, which I appreciate. Um, I purchased something. This is the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet. It's in the shade Oxblood number 53. Now my friend down here, Kristen Game, which I know if you watch me, you have been subscribed to her for a long time. Um, she was I don't remember what picture on her Instagram it was um, I think it was right around Halloween it may have been her Halloween post when she had her cute little shirts on that she got for Etsy it's so cute hi hi girl um, and her lips were to die for and I contacted her immediately and I was like girl what is on your lips like I think I might need it now her skin tones a little bit different from mine and I always hope that I'm I'm like it looks amazing on her. What Am I going to like a clown or what? But I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And they actually had a kit I didn't get because I kind of thought that two of the colors I wouldn't wear, the other two I might. And I was like, no, just get this. Get the one. Get the discount and try it. Never tried. I only have tried one Burberry lip gloss in my life, which is right here. And it's just a um, natural lip gloss and it's shiny. Okay. Never tried what a lip velvet is. She said, I mean, it was easy to apply for her. She liked it. She said, check it out. So I said, who doesn't listen to Kristen Gay? Mm-hmm. I do. So anyway, my lips are going to be... If I thought they were dry pre this, they're going to be really dry. Yeah, I want to try this on. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Like the little doe foot applicator. 
Let's do a little. Wow. Yeah, she's dark. She feels satiny. And it says velvet. So, yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, that feels nice. Okay. <sighs> pause. Dramatic pause. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me try to put this on um, without getting it all over my face. Okay, I must say that Kristen Game knows her lip products. Um, this is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys think that it suits me. Um, wow, I feel like I just want to stare at myself because I really love this lip color. And I actually don't, I got a little bit down here, so I got to be a little careful. I don't use lip liners much, so... Um, I'm gonna erase this watch. You guys have seen this watch now. You've seen it on me. Um, but I really, really like it. That color is unique. I don't have a color like this exactly. I love it. It feels nice. Oh, see, I like that because it doesn't feel... Sometimes when I put stuff on my lips, I feel like it's like... And I've got those lips that if it's gonna dry you out, it's gonna dry... It's gonna happen to me within the first, like, 30 seconds. That feels really nice. That feels really nice. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yay! Good purchase. Thank you, Kristen Game. Yes. I haven't been being I haven't been buying a ton of makeup this year. I've been trying to use what I have. Um, like I said, I've been kind of in a rut, which has probably helped my wallet because I've used like the same things over and over again. But I did purchase this. I couldn't stop. I, I couldn't stop myself. I thought I got the little one, but I got the big one. Uh, do I need the big one? Maybe not. But Makeup by Tiffany D kept talking about it, and then she she got me, right? She got me. I was already like, nah, I don't need it. It's fine. I'll get it later. But she got me when she said she used it on her daughter. And I was like, Vivi has Vivi has the skin where she's, uh, she's got dry skin already. Um, this is a coconut melt organic virgin, virgin coconut oil. Could I go to Trader Joe's and get an organic coconut oil and use on her? Yes, probably. Um, did I spend the money and buy this? Yes, we're going to share it. Uh, Non-GMO, silicone-free, silicone sulfate-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free. Um, here's the thing. It comes with a little scooper. I wanted this a while back. Went into the store, smelled it, and said, ew, no get it this time and I feel like it smells faintly of like the inside of an almond joy not too sh not as sugary and sweet as that I don't know why I went to the store real quick and I was like doesn't smell good keep moving um yeah I'm excited to try this I'm very excited to try this it did come with a little sticker um that says that I think it liquefies oh god my hands um <clears throat> liquefies above 76 degrees so Awesome. Can't wait to get into this. It's a nice heavy jar too. Like super heavy that it hurts my hands. I got a gift for my husband. Um, Blue de Chanel. What does it smell like you guys? I don't know. I don't know because I haven't found it around here to be able to smell it. But I <laughs> read about the notes. I watched a ton of YouTube videos where people talk about this being the best thing for their husbands. He likes colognes and I hate to open this honestly until I find a place that has it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to go to our Macy, no, yeah, maybe Macy's, but why would, I hate that Sephora sells colognes for men. I did go to the store to try to smell this. They do not carry men's Chanel or just this one, I can't remember, but they didn't have it. So anyway, that's a gift for his um, birthday. <clears throat> Olay Henderson Truth Serum, haven't had this in a long time. I have loved this stuff. Um, it's a vitamin C serum. I've been using some from the dermatologist and it's a liquidy form. And I gotta be honest, I've been using it for a while. I, I don't know if it's if it's helping or what, but I do feel like when I started using this, I actually saw my face brighten up a little bit. Um, and I don't think it was my imagination because I've seen it. I've used multiple bottles of these in the past and I've seen it every time. So when I run out of stuff from my dermatologist, I'm going to go back to this. And then I can re-talk to my dermatologist. At, I can talk to my dermatologist at another time. But I just wanted to get that. It's on sale. 
I know I love it because I've tried it before. All right. <clears throat> In the next box. So like I said, I, I do feel like I got some fun stuff, but I didn't go nuts. So um, I got a small Clinique Moisture Surge because. I use this in the morning um, after my serum and I only have this much left I have used this stuff for years I love it so I went ahead and got a small one a lot of times I feel like with Ulta with Ulta you can't like I feel like sometimes Clinique is excluded from the 20% of coupons but anyway I got a small one of those very excited to have that I got a little gift for a friend I got a little brush um, for Vivi and I, really to put in Vivi's bag. Uh, she's getting such long hair. It's not long, but it's like down to here. And she's, I can put her hair in a pony now, like a real big girl pony. I need to post a picture of that because it's super cute. She looks really mature. But just a Sephora cheap brush. I got this. Now this is not for myself. This is for my mom. Um, I know a lot of you are probably like, your mom wears metallic eyeshadows. Um, yeah, we like sparkly stuff. Um, sparkly stuff looks good on my mom uh she doesn't wear matte shadows um i think if she wore matte shadows i'd be like what's wrong with you where where is mama gail what is wrong with you um so i'll show you this i already pulled it out to look at it um i think she's gonna i think she's gonna really like to play with this especially around the holidays her birthday is actually on thanksgiving and um i'll be going down to help cook and hang out with her all day and then Wes will meet me later because he's uh, taking Vivi to see his family but this side of it I want to keep I want to touch I want to wear it I might even not I might not do my makeup until after I give this to her and then I'll use it and then it has a mirror inside and then the other side let me see if I can cover this the other side are your brighter colors oh my god it's killing my arm my hand um so super pretty some of the bright colors she likes to um she'll like wear those on her lash lines especially like summertime um but we like sparkle we are not afraid and like i said it looks really good on her um i know a lot of women don't care for that and as we as we age tend to go towards more matte stuff and that is totally fine but when you have your thing and it works then you stick with that right Okay, two more frivolous things for myself because, like I said, I am lipstick obsessed. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip Kit. And then I also got a Vice lipstick in the shade Rebel. Tried this on at the store, fell in love with it, and of course my store was sold out. Um, oh, I don't want to take this off. It's so pretty. But it still doesn't feel dry. Okay, I'm going to go take this off and I'm going to try on the Rebel. And I'm not sure if I'll try these on in front of you. Maybe if I could do it super quick. Um, I just want to keep you all here all day um, while I try on lipstick. Okay, so the little packaging for the Rebel is lipstick is my vice. And it's got that cute little jeweled mouth with some gold teeth, some gold fronts. Rebel Metallicat Metalized. What was I saying? How do you open this? It's beautiful. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That just gets me really excited. Love it. Love it. Don't want to take it off. Here's a swatch. Oh, my God. I'm loving it. It's like I see the metalized what they're saying. It's, it's like shiny goodness like some shine to it but it's not like um it's not too metallic that you would be scared of it you know that it's gonna be like bam the girls wearing metallic lips all right i might try these on real quick and just show you guys this is the buxom and dolly that i'm wearing right now just a lip gloss it does have that like um uh tingle to it it's a full-on lip cream Here's the color. It's like a light mauvey pink. This is the Tarte, um, and it's in Rum Punch. It's a very nice nude lipstick. And here's the swatch. Very neutral, very creamy feeling. Um, I think this is the Rainforest of the Sea stuff. Not quite sure. This is the Makeup Forever, and it is the Artist Rouge Cream, and it looks like C211. 
this is more of a pink rose, like a medium pink on me. Um, and here's the swatch. It does swatch quite dark, um, you know, for it being nude, but I do like it. And I like the feel of it. So far, so good. This is the Bite uh, Multi Stick in Brioche. Nice neutral. It's a little bit drier than the others, but I wouldn't say drying. And it is more of like a um, more of a brown based nude on me. I'm sorry, my mouth I feel like is gone. Nut. It's all red down here because I've been wiping it. But um, it's really, really pretty. Look at that. Really perfect for this time of year. It's a, the tiniest lipstick I've ever seen. Okay, this is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet in Bittersweet. And it is, like I said, it's liquid velvet. Here's the shade right here. It feels nice and soft, um, but it is more of your beige with a slight, like, purple undertone. And it does not look very good on me. The color. It feels good. It was very easy to apply. Not like, I think it's the Tarte lip paint or something that I cannot stand. I wish I had it up here. I got a sample. I mean, I got, oh yeah, this stuff. Cannot stand this stuff. Tardis lip paint. I, I cannot wear that. It feels like that going on, but I feel like you have more control with this, but I'm not in love with the color. But that's okay. For $28 for this little kit to get all the other ones, I'm okay with. Okay, guys, and the last one is the Kat Von D. And this is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig right here. And this is the um, swatch. It's on my lips. I did a very, very, very thin layer. I feel like every review I've watched of these do a very thin layer. I've never been interested in getting one of these because I've been scared that the um, formula would not work for me and I didn't want to just spend all the money and then get it home and then take it back. Um, it looks barely there. I really like it. I did a very thin layer. Probably could have gone a little heavier, but I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? Like, feel it a little bit. I like it. This color is like a really light, light nude. I could probably stand to go a tiny bit darker in shade, but so happy to try this and wear it. Now I'm going to see um, how long it'll last. So that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, so that's my little haul. Hope you guys shopped it. Hope you guys um, got some gifts. Like I said, I got a couple gifts, um, which I'm very excited about. And I feel like I did get some fun things, but I got some stuff that I needed. And before when I was shop, it'd be like all about the fun. So again, like I said, I'm trying to uh, shop my stash. But anyway, happy shopping. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. If you're from the States, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family. Hope you're not working. Um, we get some time. We get two days off. Vivi's off. Um, like I said, this time Wes and Vivi are going one direction. I'm going down to my mom's house. I just don't want her to be by herself cooking Thanksgiving on her birthday. So we'll um, probably put on a Hallmark movie and in and out of the kitchen. And she don't know it, but I might even need to bring some champagne so she can have the little drink. And I can have a drink. My mom doesn't really drink. Um, but it might be fun. Uh, but anyway, oh, and then I keep talking about my wrist. And I'm sorry, but like every time I go to open something, I have so much pain in my wrist and my um, hands. I have tendonitis. I got it um, right at the end of my pregnancy. And um, had, I've had several cortisone shots. It's not, nothing's working. So I'm having the surgery to correct that the Monday after Thanksgiving. So I will be out of commission for a few days. It sh I'm hoping it's not going to be a very big deal. They just go in here. I'm having it on both hands. Go in here, go in here. Clip a sheath that's like blocking, like um, jamming up my tendons to like release my tendons. It's sew me up, send me home. I'm hoping it's going to be that simple. The only hard part is that I can't lift over like five pounds until I get released, which is like 10 days later. And I have a child that's 30 pounds and I have a dog that can't get up the back steps without lifting him. So we'll see uh, how that's going to work out. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, happy shopping for Black Friday. I'm planning to shop from the comfort of my couch and hang out with my child. Uh, you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for all your sweet comments on the last couple of videos. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get back into the groove, back into filming. Um, I miss it. I miss talking to y'all. And um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram too if you guys have Instagram. Jamie H L N C. I can never say that. Anyway, bye.